happy Monday. It's also crafting time. It's crafting time. I'm Christy with Christy's Craft Room. I'm not. This is my husband, Tim. He hangs out in the craft room. He hangs out in the comments. He, um, he does he all kinds of things. All he hangs out everywhere in the wood shop, in the comments, in the craft room, all the places. I see Miss Kathy Roden is here watching with us. Hello, hello. Say hello once you guys get here. Tim is sending out a text message right now to let everybody know that we are live, that we're going to craft. You guys, this is a super, 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 super simple, easy craft that I think a lot of y'all are going to like, okay? Um, lots of us have all these wine corks hanging around, these, these bottle corks, okay? All right. I have a lot. I did not consume all these. I um I was gifted these by a good friend who probably consumed them all because of my child. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> um, but we're gonna use these, okay? And I'm also going to, I know not everybody has a bunch of these laying around, so I'll tell you some different options of where you can get them. And I will also be gifting somebody um whatever I use tonight, I'm gonna gift somebody the supplies of what I'm using, okay? So um, I got a whole bunch more. I got another bag over there. So um, we're going to have some fun. But if you didn't get the text message, text hello to this phone number, 810-374-0342. And we will send you a text when we go live so that you can come and hang out and craft with us. And you never have to miss another live crafting unless you choose to. But who would choose to miss out on crafting time, right? We all love our crafting time. Grab a screenshot so you can go back and send the text later um, so you don't have to miss anything right now, okay? Say hey once you get here. Let me know where you're watching. Hello, Miss Janet. Miss Janet, I can't believe you're still awake um, up hanging out right now. I can't believe you're not crashed out sleeping all day after being gone hickabilly in it all weekend long. Um, I look like you had an amazing time, an amazing time. So welcome back to Michigan, girlfriend. And... Um, Oh, and today was opening day. Today was opening day, yes. How many of y'all went out and did a little bit of hunting? How many of your husbands went and did some hunting? How many of your wives went and did some hunting, huh? How many of your kids went and did some hunting? I didn't do no hunting. It's not happening this year. It's just not. How many of you are in for the day? Just got back in from hunting. Yes, it's dark here. Patricia. Um, Miss Patricia is up north. She oh, is um, Miss Patricia Allman, our friend here. She's oh, an she's avid there. hunter. Are you here, girlfriend? Did you yeah. have a good day? How was opening day? How was it? She says, hi, Christy and Tim have arrived in Big Rapids. And whoop, the guys are getting ready for whoop, whoop, opening day tomorrow. Are you going out this year, Miss Patricia? Or are you just holding down the camp? Are you going out? I think I, I let us know. Let us know. Um. Where was I? Okay, we're using corks. I don't know how many we're going to use. I'll let you know how many I end up using in the end. You can use as few and make a little short garland, or you could do a big, long one, as long or short hey, as you want. It. That's my face. Wham! Sorry, baby. Um, you're going to want some scrapbook paper. I'm just going to use this fun little plaid print from Hobby Lobby. You can use whatever you want, whatever you got. You could skip the paper and just paint the ends if you want to. Um, I have some red twine here. You can use that or you could just use the traditional brown twine would work perfect for this craft as well. I've got the red beads. These are the garland, um, the beaded garland from Hobby Lobby. That was $2 and 40 cents um, on sale right now, 60% off. Great deal. Grab them. You can use them for this craft and have a bunch left over for another craft. And these are probably about, what do we figure, like a 12 millimeter? I think we figured these, maybe 13 millimeter, somewhere around there. Um, and then I have these ones, which are probably more like a 16 millimeter would be my guess-ish, okay? So they're a little bit bigger, okay? They're a little bigger, like that. So we're using those. I've got some Mod Podge. I've got a little hole puncher here. It's just one of those hole puncher deals. And this is, I want to say this is, um, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. It's not it an inch. Say. It doesn't say. I know. That's what I was looking for. Usually they say. Yeah. It doesn't say. Or is it worn off? No, it's not worn off. It's like in good shape. Well, while you're doing that, um, Marcel just wrote us a, 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 a mm -hmm. note. Miss mm -hmm. um, Marcel. Says. Uh, uh, just, just a little bit more than a half of an inch, whatever that is in the craft store. It says, I was just writing a message to you both 
uh, for the box in the box when the text came through, but also our mm -hmm. prayers were answered. My MRI got approved and set for Friday. Yay! That's good news, Miss Marcel. Good news. All right, so I like to cut these so I can see the bottom because they make these so like this, so you can put it on the table. You can stick your little paper in. Get her in. Mm -hmm. Get her in. And then you can. The problem is you can't see, and then it's like, you wanna get the best bang for your buck with the paper, so you wanna be able to see what you're doing. So I always flip it over this way. I take that little plastic dealy off. I flip it over. That little plastic dealio. And then I punch my hole, and if you give it a little bit of force, it'll it'll pop right out, okay? So you can just, just keep it going. And then you can put them nice and close to each other so you get a little more bang for your buck instead of having them so spread out like over here when you can't see and you're blindly doing your holes, okay? We want the best bang for our buck, okay? So I asked where you got your shirt. My shirt, um, oh, you can go grab it. Um, um, this is one of Cody's shirts from Country Cottage Goods. You can, um, Tim can grab the link for you. This is my niece, Cody. She made this shirt in her shop. I don't know if she still has any of these left. She has some other ones. But Cody also is doing our master class for the sugar scrubs. And she has all kinds of amazing stuff. Go check her out. Go check her out. I actually just placed an order for some Christmas stuff for Elena with her. So, um... Tim will get the, no, um, go to Facebook, get, the, get her Facebook page, and then go to her Facebook page, and she'll have all her website and all the information on her Facebook page. Um, just do that one. It's going to take him a second, guys, okay, but he'll get it for you. So I'm just going to keep punching these. Once you get a strip done, you just cut it, and then you have a nice, another clean line that you can, um, that you can cut from. So I'm just going to cut this holy strip. Which one? And I feel like you could save that and use this that one? for something. I don't know. Yep, that's her. Yep, okay. click on her, and then you can grab it from up there. Yeah, I, well, I know that. It's he just, says, uh, I know that. I know I that. I just wasn't sure. I just wanted no, we're gonna to do another sure. Strip. Okay, he's getting it for you. If it goes back in there, make sure you dump it out, because you don't want to double punch it and end up with a... Um, with a um oh we got to dance partial. i know i saw it was dancing time but i was letting you finish what you was doing yeah it's i you good i just wanted to make because there was like three two two different country cottages oh nope that is her that is her it's dancing time it's dancing time it's dancing time it's dancing time oh y'all i feel it in my hip i feel i feel it in okay. my hip i feel it I so feel it. I feel so it. that I didn't feel that did it. tell them that what we did then did you pin it for them so they can oh, find it no um, did I tell them what, what we did on Saturday? Y'all, what we did on Saturday. Did y'all see my TikTok I posted about what we did on Saturday? I was going to post another TikTok with more, like, videos, and I didn't. Yeah, I should still do that. I should still do that for y'all. Y'all, Saturday night. Um, and get ready, y'all. I'm going to grab some names here in a minute. The boys are both supposed to be home. Jacob and Trevor were both supposed to be home. Adam's in Texas. Actually, he was in Florida um, for work, but, so he wasn't here, but the two older, two younger boys, which are older than El Elena, were home. The two middle children, the middle children were supposed to be home, um, but then Jake ended up not coming home, but we had already had plans, like, let's do something fun tonight, so I had already promised Trevor and Elena we'd do something fun, so we, um, we went to Sky Zone. Have you all ever been to Sky Zone? Sky Zone is a trampoline park. Have you ever been to a trampoline park? Raise your hand. Click the little hearts, the little thumbs up, something. Let us know. Have you been to a trampoline park? Y'all. Oh. We've been a couple times. I've been a couple times. Oh, Miss Andy. Andy and Miss Ramona. Miss Andy's sister Ramona. Um we will pray for her for sure. She is going through a rough time. Um, she's been a friend of ours around here for quite some time, time. quite some time. Um, so yes, we will be praying for her. You all keep all of our friends here on the page in your prayers. We have lots of friends who are dealing with lots of things right now. Um, illnesses, losses, missing loved ones. Um, um, our friend Alexis over at Purposeful Indulgence, pray for her family. Her uncle is missing right now. Her uncle, they think he got lost out driving, and he, he went out yesterday afternoon, and he never made it home. 
Um, so keep him in your prayers that he can find his way home, that somebody finds him and can get him the help that he needs to get home. Because I know the family is very, very, um, very worried and concerned. So um, you can pray specifically for people and you can also send out just like a mass for our friends here. They're all, God knows their needs. He knows what their needs are. He knows every single one of our needs. Um, so I just think we just need a little bit of extra of that this time of year um, anyways because people yes. deal with tough times. So definitely. Um, but we're also seeing prayers answered every day, just like um, Miss Marcel. Her prayers were answered, and she gave us an update today. So I think that's awesome. All right, I don't know how many of these you need, uh, y'all. It just depends on how many you want to do. I'm just going to wild with it. That's probably all I need for now. So I got a bunch of holes. Um, cut. These are just slightly bigger than a half an inch. So like a half inch hole punch will work just fine. Okay. So we're going to set this aside because I think that's enough for the moment. Now, um, we're going to bring in the fun stuff. The fun Jackie, stuff, it's a little chilly here. Stuff, okay, stuff. guys, I got some names here. We have Fayette Miller Waxman, Judy Mundley Ball, Cheryl Johnson, Gina Barefit. Barefoot, Cynthia Lucas, Tammy Watkins Anders, Stacy White Knight, Oops, Terry Miller, Jane hold. Goodyear, Sue Downing, Margaret Owens, and Georgette Rogers. So we are just going to drill a hole. It, I know I don't have my safety glasses on, y'all. This is not like the stuff doesn't, it's just cork. It's not, yeah, I kind of need to see what I'm doing here, honey. <laughs> I kind of need to see what I'm doing. So I'm just drilling some holes. It's okay if your holes are not perfectly centered. The key is um, just getting your hole good and cleaned out so you can see some light through, okay? Because you want to be able to get your twine through it, okay? This is, this is, Tim, can you look the little drill bit thing is there and see which one is missing? The one that's missing is the one that I'm using. Y'all, don't be afraid of the drill. The drill is the easiest tool to use, okay? You can do it, you can do it, you can seconds. do it, okay? Um, turkeys for 99 cents a pound. I was going to buy one to donate. Kroger, if you have a Kroger, is it still on sale? Kroger the other day, their turkeys were 49 cents a pound. I saw I a friend of mine are. posted that they had them for 49 cents a pound, okay? 530 so, seconds. 530 seconds is the size drill that I'm using. You can use that size a little and bit I bigger. And I know there's, would be fine there's too. somebody's got them on sale for 49 cents a pound. If you, you gotta spend a certain amount, but you can only get one at 49 cents a pound. Someone told me Kroger has them just 49. 49 cents, so I don't think you have. I think that's what it is. I is think it? There's I a, don't yeah, know. I think there's a. Maybe there's a you have minimum. You buy like $25 worth of stuff. But who ain't got $25 worth of stuff to buy at Kroger or any grocery store, right? Okay. So Saturday we went to Sky Zone, y'all. We went to Sky Zone. And um, Tim's never been there. The kids You want to see been something there. funny? Yeah, take a fat, short fat man to Sky Zone. In the first five minutes we got there, Tim got himself stuck in stuck in a foam pit. He couldn't get, <laughs> he like dove right in. He just like, woo, we're going to go have fun. And he runs and he jumps in the foam pit, y'all. And um, he jumped pretty deep into, actually he didn't jump in. He he he, he was good. He went on the little, um, what is it called? The little, the do, 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 do. The balance beam. The balance beam, okay? Like my impression, do, 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 do. Like you do your balance beam impression, okay? Um, he went on the balance beam. And then Trevor went out and they were gonna wrestle each other, okay? They had these little like things that you can hit each other with and they were just gonna wrestle each other. Tim didn't have one, but Trevor had one. They were gonna, they were gonna, Trevor was gonna go take dad down, right? Well, dad loses his balance and just falls. And then Trevor loses his balance and just falls. But dad, Tim, is all the way like about as far as you can get to the other side of the foam pit. And, like and you, when you weigh this much, <laughs> you sink. You sink in the foam. <laughs> Y'all, it was so funny. It was so funny. So he's like crawling through the foam pit trying to get out. And it was, it was quite a sight to see. Quite a what sight is... to see. And he got, um, what is that? What, Lavanda, tell us what you just did there. What is that $2 thing that is there, Lavanda? What is that? It says Lavanda Lavada. Lavada. I can't even read. Lavada Lavenier Vance. And then it says $2. And it's all highlighted in blue. What does that mean? That's on YouTube. 
What does that mean? Is that something like, is that like stars, but for YouTube or something? Tell us, Lavanda. How'd you get that on there? Lavanda. Lavanda. <laughs> I always say Lavanda. Always. Lavanda. I love you, girl. I'm going to screw up your name. <laughs> um, but you guys, it was so stinking funny. Yes, Tammy. We, we, uh, we see you there. So he, um, so he's like crawling across this foam pit trying to get out. So you just want to make sure you clean up your hole. Clean your hole. Clean your hole. Everybody likes so. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> um, That's okay. So Desiree, Desiree bought, bought a three-pound boneless breast. Ooh, look. Woo! Don't let go of your cork. It's going to spin. Um... Hey, Jane. Kimberly says she thinks it's a tip. Did you just tip us, Lavada? Thank you, girl. If you're going to tip us, I should at least get your name right. <laughs> you would think. You would think. So he gets to the edge to crawl out. And then I can't pull my... So you've got, like, the foam is probably this deep. Like, it's probably, probably like, good three feet deep of foam squares. Okay, and then you get to the edge and the top of the foam squares is probably about three feet from the top. So you gotta like try and get on top of the foam and try and hoist your way up. There's no ladder to climb out. It's not like a swimming pool. There's no yeah. ladder. There's no way to get out. And, um, aw, thank you, Miss Levada. Everyone says she tipped us. Aw. Um, so he's wiggling his way out. We're trying to help him and grab him and, and pull him out. Um, he eventually got out, eventually got out. He did not go back in that bone pit again, though. He did oh, not. Oh, no, no, I did end up in it. One oh, more that's time. right, you did, because you jumped, and then I jumped, and then, oh. like, yes, that's right. <laughs> that's right, he did. He did, sometimes it takes us a while to learn <laughs> from our mistakes. Um, sometimes it takes us a minute. And I've, then, I've never been accused of being a smart man <laughs> it was so funny and then they had um dodgeball of course there's dodgeball which was super super fun except for the one boy who was so stinking competitive that he kept cheating and not getting out cheater little cheater we all little knew cheater we all knew he was cheating though. uh yes jackie there christy does have video of some of my i do i do oh and then he did <laughs> you know then they had these they had these things you know what is that show Ninja Warrior? Is that what yeah. it's called? Yeah. Where you like run, you gotta run up the wall the and you warped wall. And you gotta like go on the rings and they had these rings that you could like hold on to with your hands, but then you could also put your feet in. So I was like, oh I'm gonna do that. I can do that. I can do that. Yeah, no, I put my feet in the things and about dang near did the splits. Like literally, like my legs were like like cause you know, they're ropes. So then you put your feet in and they go So my legs are like this, my arms are like this, and I'm like I said, nope, I'm done. That's as far as I went on that. And then Mr. Mr. Fancy Pants over here, Mr. Muscle Man over here, Mr. Muscle Man, he, um, he, he decides he can do it. Y'all, he did. He did it. Well. Well, you did. You got past those. It took you a minute. You weren't winning any competition, but you did it. <laughs> and that's what matters at our age. You did it. So right. he got across those. And then you got across, there's the ropes, like the, in the U shape, and he got to the ropes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but then it all went downhill after that, and he, uh, his feet were split, and then they had these, like, ropes that hung down. They had, like, the discs, like, that you would sit on and swing as a kid. Um, he, like, went to put one foot on that, and it was all over. <laughs> He's like, nope, done. So. Yep, done. But, um, so that was fun. Of course, Trevor was a champ at that stuff. Trevor did good at that stuff. Elena did pretty good at dodgeball. She lasted longer than I did. And her friend Emerson went with us. And she, um, this is all I'm going to do for now. I think that's going to give us a pretty decent length garland. Um, so I'm going to clean up my, my, my little cork sawdust here. And yeah, clean up your cork and mess over there. I know, my cork and mess. I know. Cork and project. Okay. Get this out of the way. Dump that out. Woo. Sit that there. Oh, Lori, I, I still hurt. 
we're a little achy. We're a little sore. We are a little sore. Um, yes. Yeah. But Elena's friend Emerson ended up being the last man standing on her side, on their side. Y'all, we go out to do, um, to do dodgeball. And everyone in our group ends up on one team and I end up on the other team all by myself. I'm like, how does that happen? How does it happen? Because they all knew to go every other person because they go like, you that way, you that way, you that way, you. They split the team. I wasn't paying attention. I just jumped in the line. They're all staggering every other person so they'd be on the same team. Nope, I ended up on the other team. Um, I think they're team. Oh, one. yes, Abilene. I did see the picture from Saudi Daisy. Daisy. He's so obsessed. I am. All right, so That's now where we need to go for vacation. No, we, we've got no, our holes. Everything else. We've got our holes. <laughs> we're gonna have to go to Saudi Daisy at some point because I'm gonna have to see this place he's talking about that he says we're gonna retire to that I know nothing about. Whoa! <laughs> Did you see that? What's the ham sandwich? <laughs> Wowzers! That went flying. I don't know what happened there. I Get ready, know. guys! I'm gonna grab some more names here in a minute. Now we're gonna mod podge our ends. Okay. Just gonna dip it in the lid here. You don't need a ton. We're just gonna put a little bit of Mod Podge on the end of our cork, like so. Just a little Mod Podge. And then take one of our little pieces. How big are the red beads? The red beads are, I think about 12 millimeters. I think we determined last time. I thought they were like 14. Tim said no, I think they're more like 12. So, I think they're about 12. What, the red ones? The red ones. ones. No, those are like 10. Those are not tens. I know what tens are. Tens are tiny. Here we go again, y'all. <laughs> I thought we came to a conclusion. So when you do it, especially if it's rounded, you just kind of want to like press a little bit as it's drying and just make sure it's your paper kind of fits around the edges, okay? Okay, we have Constance Massey, Andrea Hadima, Hilda Burgess, Jenny Roberts Day, Janet Idziak, Kathy Dickman, Patty Campbell, Dorothy Daughtry, Kimberly Cotto, Margaret Owens, Jan Goodyear, and Loretta Houston. Yo, I was never good at dodgeball. I was a lot of them were saying, oh, dodgeball was fun when I was a kid. I was never good at it. I was well, never picked at it. I would say I was one of the last <laughs> ones always picked because I was not very athletic as a child. I, I wasn't one of the last. I was the last. I, I, I was usually one of the I was of that the kid last. that they forced you to take. Yeah, I wasn't that kid, but I was like one of the last because there was a couple that were a little bit less athletic than me, fortunately. <laughs> it's kind of like when you're out in the woods, you just you don't have to run faster than the bear. You just got to have to run faster than the slowest person in your group. Um, that type of thing. I, I wasn't the least athletic. I just wasn't the most athletic. <laughs> Peggy asks, what? what's it, Saudi Daisy? I don't know. Tim just likes the name. <laughs> he likes the name and the I idea. It sounds and looks very picturesque. Yes. In his vision. I saw it on a, 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 on a um, placemat in a little mom and pop restaurant in, in the middle of Tennessee and decided that's where I'm going to retire to because with a name like Saudi Daisy, it's got to be just He awesome. saw it on a placemat. He didn't even drive, like, go to the town. No. Like, he just saw it on a placemat and said, oh, we're going to retire there. I'm like, oh, maybe we should visit there first. Maybe. Nope. Maybe we should check it out first. Nope. But we have some friends here that are from Saudi, Day Saudi Daisy, so it must not be that. they say it's awesome. They say it's great. So, so oh, they're just uh, feeding into his desire to move to Saudi <laughs> Daisy. They're just. And Anne says she loves the ornaments that we uh, did for Hickabilly. Aw, thank you. Aren't those cute? All right, so um, so we um. Yes, Kimmy, we are. We're live on both. We are Facebook on the YouTube. Facebook on YouTube. The, the book and the tube. Okay, so we're just yeah. Putting apparently, paper Jennifer, I am retiring there by on myself. The end. Apparently, he might be by himself, y'all. It just well, the verdict is still out for me. I haven't come to that conclusion. Um, I might just see they're visiting. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We might have to like, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not there yet. All I know is I want to be somewhere warm. I want to be somewhere warm, at least in the winters, somewhere warm. That's all I really, really, truly ultimately care about. 
is that I'm somewhere warm. Oops, I suppose I should pay attention and make sure I'm doing the ones that have holes in them because there's a few here that I didn't drill. <laughs> there's no hole. You doofus. We can drill a hole into this one though. We can drill the hole in. Uh, yes, Marjorie, Saudi Daisy is in Tennessee. Aw, Marjorie Sow, you're so sweet. Um, so, hold on, I need more glue on that one. Uh oh, what day? So then I decided I was going to be really brave and I was going to go to the wipeout zone, y'all. I was like, that looks so fun. I've always wanted to do the wipeout where you like have to jump over the thing or duck under the thing. Y'all, did y'all see the video? Okay. I'm not always a quick, sometimes I'm a quick learner. I'm not always a quick learner. Okay. And that night I was not a quick learner. I was not a quick learner. Y'all, I'm just going to squirt some of this on the, I need something to squirt some of this on because I'm using. Oh, here's the. Oh, that's nasty. I don't want to use an old paint plate. Well, it's, the paint's dry. I'll just know I got it. I just don't want it all over the table because when I'm putting it together, I don't want it everywhere. But I'll put it on this little sticky note and that way I can uh, pick up the sticky note and move it out of the way. So I decided I was gonna do the wipeout zone. The wipeout zone, okay? But, you see, somebody knows their limitations. He didn't do it. He's like, nope, I'm not doing uh -uh. it. He's like, I'll I videotape. Am, I am vertically challenged and I'm challenged by gravity. Yeah, so I'm like, I got this. I can jump over a, I can jump over a, uh, a air filled tube and it can't hurt that bad. It can't hurt that bad. It's just, it's just like a blow up toy right like it can't hurt that bad it's just got air in it it's soft you're on a trampoline if you fall you're falling on a trampoline you'll be okay i'm telling myself all this okay so i go and do it now make sure you go back and kind of like press these down as they're drying just to make sure everything's staying where they need to be okay so this thing starts going around and i make it over the first couple i'm doing pretty good i'm like yeah i got this i ducked i jumped i got it and then all of a sudden it took me out and I ended up on the ground, okay? That's when it all just went to hack. Well, the minute you fall, it's all bets are off. All bets are off. You can't, you can't, you're laughing your stinking butt off too stinking hard to even like get up in, in a timely manner. By the time you get up, the thing's coming back at you again. So then you're like ducking to try to not get taken out again. <laughs> oh my God. And then... Marcel. And then, are you continuing or are you? Yeah. Okay. Um, tell Christy what makes her think she's ever going to retire. We need her crafting and showing us all the things <laughs> not to do. <laughs> I, this is, is this my retirement? <laughs> this is my retirement gig, y'all. <laughs> Just starting early. Um, some days it feels like it though. Some days it's super fun and it feels like it. Lately, it's been a little bit of work just with opening the storefront. Who knew that'd be so much work, y'all? Who knew? Who yeah, it's knew? Very, Not this girl. Very mental. Yes, very mental. And very it's mental. pretty physical, too. It's pretty physical, too, for me. Oh, that one doesn't have a hole in it, so let's not do that one. Um, What's red on the wall behind you? So then we, um, oh, that little, the little, that thing. The little, this was a pumpkin that we turned into a Christmas. What is it? Balls of holly? No, this isn't a ball of holly. Wow. A ball of holly. This is this was a pumpkin that we turned into a little Christmas ornament. We recycled our pumpkins from Halloween and turned them into a little Christmas ornament. Okay. There's a live video where we did that. It's from <laughs> Halloween. So. Oh, poor Don. Don. Well, no, well, I know. I know. YouTube we, we hid would... your. We can see it, but YouTube hid your comment, Don. Um, Don said that. Would be well, my issue. I I'd be it. laughing my bootie off. Do you have a certain amount of time on it? No, Lord. you can stay on as long as you want. Like for there, like it was like if there was if they were super busy and they had a huge line, then they I don't know maybe on those days, but like no, you could just go in and do what you want to do. And what made it extra challenging was there was a bunch of little kids that like have no rhyme or reason or coordination or um um um. Um, they have no sense of personal space and everyone gets their own little triangle and stay in your little, stay on your own personal trampoline. They're all just like, yeah, oh, I'm care. going here, I'm going there. And towards the end, you see like one little boy like run right under me. And I, I'm going to, I'm blaming that's why I fell that time. It was the little boy that got in my way. Um, I totally would have cleared that he one. He was nowhere near you. <laughs> he was definitely near me. Well, I don't not know. at that time. <laughs> 
beg to differ. It's all his fault. And I'm sticking. That's my story. And I'm sticking to it. Um, so then, like, the thing knocks me down. And I roll over. Yes, and I PJ. smack my nose on the little, the little rubber, like, bumper guard. The little padded thing in between the trampolines. Whack my nose. I'm thinking, like, oh, my gosh. I think I, y'all know how easy I get bloody noses, okay? I'm thinking, oh, well, it's all over now. Um, so I recover from that. And then I go to get up. And the thing, the thing is, <laughs> it's the little kids. I'm blaming all the little kids. What happens is, as that thing's going around, if if it hits something and somebody like trips on it and falls on it and it like stops, it goes back the other way. Okay, so it went past me, and I'm like, okay, it's cleared, and I'm looking this way, waiting for the 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 other the next arm to come around. Well, the little kid, a couple trampolines over from me, stopped it because they fell on it. And so it turned around and started coming back towards me. And I'm looking this way. And the thing comes and whacks me in the head. You see it right when ponytail goes. Um, that thing, I thought, oh, it's, it, it's just it's it's just a tube of air. It can't hurt that bad. That thing has got some power to it. Power. And what makes it worse, even worse, is anytime somebody would, like, stop it and get caught up on it, it would, like, like... Like the spinny thing is still spinning. So then when it breaks free, it comes really fast. So it's like, it's coming like this. And then it gets stopped and it's like, whoa, but to catch up to where and it smacks it you. And it smacks you hard. It takes you out hard. So there's no like real good love timing it because you don't know how fast it's coming. Y'all, it was a mess. It was a mess. Um, it was, it was a fun mess, but it was a mess. It, it was hilarious. Um, but we had a ton of fun, ton of fun. We were exhausted. We did the hour and a half, and but we got there a little bit late. Um, so we really only did a little over an hour, and that was plenty of time. Well, that was more than enough time for plenty me. Plenty of time. Um, I think even the kids were just like, yeah, that's good. They were all pretty tired and, and worn out. Um, Thank you, Tammy. And half of it was shut down. That We only got to experience half of it because they're remodeling and adding like new different features so half the building was like you couldn't even yeah, it, wasn't it was usual. all shut down so um so i can't even imagine if the whole thing was open we'd really be worn out and me being it. myself it's like wait a minute they're still charging us full price we did put the christmas tree up at the shop we did um i didn't like do a lot to like decorate it or anything yet we just got it we got it we got it assembled um i did put like three ornaments on it today just because they were sitting there and i'm like oh well, let me stick them on the tree where to go? Kathy says uh, she's pulling out all her Christmas stuff. Yay! Uh, as I put up my crafts from all the craft boxes. Fun, 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 so, fun. She's like, well, she says I cry. Cat said I can't do the boxes right now. Oh. My crafts that I've made from the craft boxes are the cutest, and I love them all. Aww. I pray I can join back up soon. Yeah. But now I will continue to craft with you and watch you guys. Make some awesome Aww, stuff. Aw, Kathy. I do look forward to the you returning at some point. We have a lot of fun over there in the group. We do. We have a blast. We do, but you still have your crafts to enjoy them. So that's awesome. You got all the fun memories of the group. Love it, love it, love it. All right, I just have a couple more to do, guys, and then yeah, we're going to make sure um, these are dry. Sky Zone's over at uh, 23 and... Haze? Haze, yeah. It's Haze. Pretty sure it's Haze. Yeah, 23 and Hayes-ish. Yeah. It's in Shelby Township. So if you just search Sky Zone, Shelby Township. Um, but they have them other places. Like, they're, they're all over the place now. And some places call, they have Air Airtime um, is another name for some of them. Um, something, there's a couple other ones too. There's other variations of it. But we were at the Sky Zone one. So, which was super fun. Super fun. So, yeah, it was... It was fun. When right before we were leaving, they were starting to have like glow zone at from like nine to eleven at night on the weekend, and um, they like turn all the lights down and they have black lights, black lights, so everything's like neon and glowing. And there was like a ton of like teenagers and stuff coming with their parent. Parent, a parent has to be there with them. They can't come by themselves um, for that. But what well, says they have get air. Yeah, get air. Yeah, there's different. There's like the big ones like Airtime and um, those oh. ones that have like a bunch all over. And then there's independently owned 
um, ones also that have uh, do you have things. a schedule up for the Saturday craft day isn't that on Friday I did not post it yet but the um, I can tell you real quick right now um, oh. no it's on Saturday oh for the Friday is our craft kit group um, craft night you guys can you believe this weekend is the last weekend before Thanksgiving and then like holiday craziness begins can you believe like can you like can you believe that I can't believe that I can't believe it so Friday is our craft kit groups craft night and then Saturday is our homemade Christmas master class um, crafting day All right, where'd it go? so 12 o'clock is the um, Eastern Standard Time 12 o'clock is the barnwood quilt three o'clock is the sugar scrubs six o'clock is the um door hangers and then nine o'clock is just a wrap up live just just kind of talk about how the day went see if anyone has any questions that came up after the lives um that we can maybe answer um at that point in time so donna send us a send one us more a private message on that to, and we can work on that outside of here one more oh you guys one thing i do have a little bit of an announcement to make y'all um well, were you gonna tell me well you know about this we've talked about this oh. you know about it um the tim just said to send a private message private messages oh. y'all facebook is doing all kinds of craziness and y'all know this it's it's not even just our page it's everyone's pages all kinds messages have been wild okay we have been like we'll think we'll like go through the messages and answer all the messages austin helps me a lot lately with messages um him and i will get in their tag team at some days because there's just so we get so many messages um so he'll answer the ones that he can and then you know anything that's specific to me he like marks for me and, and i open it um if, if it's one that he opens so he'll just reserve it for me so um but the problem is we'll go through it and we'll have all the messages answered to think we're all caught up and then we'll like go and click on something or we'll go out and come back in and there'll be a whole bunch more messages there just all of a sudden like they were gone we thought we were done and then there's more and then we think we're done again and then we click around and we just we just have to keep clicking on things to get more messages just keep popping up popping up popping up some days like on friday i was in there and there were messages austin's like I, I marked some messages that are just for you that you have to answer i can't answer these and so i went in there to look at the ones that were marked and i'm like there's none in here it shows there's none he's like well there's a bunch and he's like reading me the names of, of you know who they're from i'm like i don't see these at all so then i had to go in and search each name individually um and then some days we'll go in there and we'll go to answer messages and all of a sudden there'll be a bunch from like three or four days earlier that we never saw that we never read and never replied to so if you have sent us a message and we didn't reply to you that's what's going on because we are usually really 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 like really good at keeping up with messages and answering them usually the same day or the next day if they come in later in the day obviously the weekend you know, we're busy with family and doing family things and stuff more. So, um, you guys, I'm just pressing to make sure that these are all on there good. Just making sure everything's stuck. Um, so, with that being said, that's what they look like. With that being said, um, I know I've always said private messages is the best way to reach us. But I think we're going to start switching and having people starting to send us emails because the messenger is just not being reliable and consistent. And it hasn't been. It's been about a month now. It's been kind of messing up, but it seems to be getting worse and worse and worse. Hi, Devonda. So you can email us. If you've sent us a private message and we have not gotten back to you, send us an email at Christie's team at Christie's craftroom.com. And I'll be checking that to um, make sure. And um, Austin's going to be helping me get in there and check those as well. So um, Christy's team at Christy'sCraftroom.com. Okay, yeah, get ready, guys. I'm going to grab some more names here in a minute. So I don't know. Hopefully it'll work itself out. But for right now, that's the, probably the best way. And I'm going to be making them. We're going to be checking that as much as we had been checking Messenger um, to be able to answer your guys' questions. All right. And we're going to dry these just a little bit. Um, oh, we were gifted all these. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't consume all these, y'all. I did not. And I'm going to gift somebody.
Sharing the wealth. I'm going to be gifting um, some of these. So whatever I use tonight for this garland, I'm going to gift to somebody at the end of this live. So um, all you got to do is sprinkle the video, share it to your friends, be chatting with us in the comments so that when we're well, scrolling through the names, right, when we're scrolling through the names, we have to see that you're here um, hanging out with us. Becky, it's going to be so cute. And you can like make this as big or as small as you want to. Thank you for sprinkling this, Jenny. Thank you, Kelly. I think Tim put the link for um, where I got my shirts yes, in the comments it's there. It's pinned in there. It's pinned. So go show Cody some love, you guys. Cody is doing the master class for us on Saturday. Um, and she has been getting in the group and answering questions for people, asking, you know, like, specifically, like, you know, what, is this going to work? Is that going to work? And Because she's the expert on the sugar scrub. I'm not the expert, okay? I've done it, but I'm not the expert. She's okay. the expert. Okay, we have... Heat gun down. Cheryl Johnson, Cynthia Romine Smith, Elaine Rogers, Becca Maggie, Darlene Golden, Jody Waldron Shevlin, Amanda Powell Hart, Donna Morris Dorton, Kathy Goyer, Lavada Lavnier Vance, Margaret Owens, Kimberly Cotto, Wesley Adkins, and Tammy Stern. I got this twine at Michael's on clearance after Christmas. Um, they may have it now, but you can get the regular things of twine like, like this. They usually have these at Michael's also in red. Or you could just use your regular, um, like the brown type twine will be fine as well. Like it's from Dollar Tree and stuff, okay? So what I'm going to do is I am going to put a little bit of low temp hot glue on the end of my twine here. I'm going to go a little ways down because I kind of probably almost like an inch because I want to make it stiff enough to go through our corks. Ooh, that Let sounds it cool good, a little bit. And spin and twist and just pinch it to make it nice and stiff. <laughs> to miss that one. What? <laughs> I'm not repeating it, y'all. Nice you heard it, stiff. you heard it. If you didn't, you didn't. Okay. Make it nice and stiff. Yes, yeah, so we're pinching and twisting it. Okay. Yeah, so now we've got our hot glue. It ain't gonna so make it stiff. It'll help it go through. I did already start, so I've already got, so I'm doing a red bead. A brown bead, like a natural bead, and then a red bead, okay, like that. So that's how we're starting our garland at the end. I already put those ones on. And then we'll do a cork. You can kind of pinch and, or, or twist and push it through. And I did my string probably longer than I have to, but I always cut just a big long piece because I never know how long it's going to end up in the end. And I'm going to do a red one. And then a natural one. And then another red one, like so. Like a yassel. Made all kinds of sugar scrubs. I know sugar scrubs are fun to make, fun to make. Sometimes it's hard to get your, your sugar to juice oils <laughs> ratio just right. So that's why we got um, Cody here to help us because she's uh, she's done this a timer. Awesome, time. thank you Gabby. She says you guys are the best at replying. Aww. I follow people that are smaller than you, and I've never been messaged back from them. We try to communicate and reply the best that we can. Ooh, that one's a little stiff. If you get some that it's hard to go through, just set it aside. You can you can re go through it with your um with your what's it called your um your drill. I think it's my twine. It's my twine. Hold on, my twine messed up on me. That's another reason you want a little bit extra long twine. So if it gets a little tattered, you can just trim the end off. And then stiffen your end again. Because you will have to do that a couple times. Because you're going through cork. And cork, even when you drill it, and you clean out your hole the best that you can, you're still going to have a little bit of a little bit of cork residue in there. Cork crumbs are going to be in there. <laughs> you missed it, Kimberly. You missed it. Miss Margaret got in the bucket. In the bucket. Oh, that's what I did. I didn't get it right to the end. Make sure you get your glue right to the end. Otherwise, it's going to fray out on you. Miss Tanya heard it. Miss Tanya heard it. She caught it. She caught it. Okay. 
I will have um, the low temp. Sorry, I'm working over here. I will have the low temp um, glue tools in my shop. I will. I don't have it available for you all yet. Janice says, I think you're great with messages, responses. We try. We do our best. We try. Is the barn quit? quit. Is the barn quilt first on Friday? The barn quilt is first on Friday. It's at noon. Yep, I want that's that's probably so, the most complicated one. So um, as far as like instructions and whatever, so I want to get that one done while you all are fresh and and I'm gonna tell on myself. Ready that. to go? Oh no! What are you gonna tell? I don't know if I want you to tell. What are you gonna tell? What are you gonna tell? You <laughs> I don't know what he's gonna tell y'all. Uh oh, I wasn't there, so I don't even know. You're telling? I don't even know. I don't know this story. You don't know the oh, story. Oh Lord, y'all! This always makes me nervous when he's telling a story that I don't even know what's coming. Yeah, All right, Tim's awesome. telling on himself, y'all. You're so, hearing it here first. Tim, well, con confessions of Tim. Because we have our, our, our new person started this morning. Yes, yes, we have a new person started this morning. And um, I went to introduce her to Jaden because she hadn't met Jaden yet. Mm -hmm. Did you forget Jaden's name? No. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, no. How? Okay. I was trying to explain who she was. Uh-huh. And I couldn't say the word. You couldn't say what word? Niece. Oh, who Taylor was? Yeah. I oh. couldn't say niece. Oh, I thought it was going to be something bad. No. Tim always forgets words ever since his, ever since his little head injury. It he was tends horrible. to forget some words. I'm like, great, she's going to think, you know. I'm, I'm, <laughs> like, I don't remember who she is. My own niece. Being a jerk. It's like, oh, shit. Y'all, we got our first snow this weekend. It was snowing like it, nothing stuck here. It did stick in some areas, around, not too yeah, far not from here. here. But it didn't stick here. The, the, it melted as it hit the ground. Um, yes, the, the monthly craft snowed. night is on Friday. Friday. It's on Friday this, this month. It's on Friday because the way the holidays <laughs> fall and everything else. Jenny says, another new person I need to move to Algonac to volunteer for you. Yes, yes, yeah. We have some another new person. Um, my niece, Taylor, is coming in to help me with um, some stuff. She's kind of helping me. Helping me with some stuff, and we're going to um, keep it in the family. Keep it in the family. Well, she has the qualifications we're looking for. She does too. have the qualifications we're looking for, so that definitely helps. That definitely, definitely the craft is looking cute. Thank you, Trudy. Thank you. Will we be able to order the items from your online store? You will. You will. There will be some items that will be exclusive to in in the store, um, but a lot of the stuff will be up, up, up on the website. It's going to take a little while. They won't be up on the website like on opening day, um, but they will be available um, hopefully soon thereafter. A lot of you got your first snow. I missed what? What did I miss? What did I miss? What did I miss? Did I? Did I? Are you teasing me? Yes, I am. He, the way he did it looked like he was like like somebody said it in the comment that I missed something. Because y'all are sharp. Y'all catch me when I miss things. Y'all do. You guys are good. And then he's like looking like you missed something. Yeah, you, you did. Me. You missed the pork. Me. I did not. Oh, I did. I missed it because you, you, because you, you got me all hot and bothered and distracted, and uh, I missed it. I missed it, y'all. I missed it. Oh, I missed it again. Uh huh. I wouldn't have missed it if he didn't do that to me. Okay, a couple of these need the drill run through them again. Okay. Yeah, it's it's Don't it's weird. Work. It's been. Well, my my accident was uh. uh March eight, March uh, uh, of eighteen. Yeah. And, four and uh, a half years ago. Ish. Yeah, almost five years ago. Yeah. And I still have uh, uh, he just issues. He loses words. For, he like he sees the word. Yeah, he I can't can, say I the can word. See the, I can see the word. I just can't say it. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, Lord says you got hot and bothered on a live. <laughs> I don't always use the right terms for things around here. I got a little distracted. I'm the one that had the head injury. Can you tell? <laughs> I've always been like this. 
I think the good Lord above just said he's he's too quick witted for her. I gotta smack him in the head and gotta slow him down. <laughs> slow a him down a little bit, or he's gonna go right off without her because she's <laughs> she she she's a I don't even know what to say. I can't even come up with anything. Hot mess. <laughs> she's a hot mess. She's a hot mess. He's gonna leave her in his dust. I gotta slow him down. <laughs> oh, enjoy yourself, he's Renee. He's gonna go find him uh, some quick witted lady friend <laughs> oh my gosh okay we gotta run through i'm gonna run the drill through a couple of these because they're just not quite quite open enough just a couple we're almost there we only got one two three four five left and then we'll see how long it is and you can like literally make this as long or as short as you want i still got some outside work to do i still gotta put away the hoses <gasps> Definitely put away the hoses. Can't leave the hoses connected. Oh, that would be. They're awful. not connected. I did disconnect them, okay. but I haven't drained them. Okay, because that would be bad. That would be so bad. Yeah. You got the patio furniture put away. Yeah, that's, patio that's furniture's important. put away. Got left out um, last year. Jenny, I had in in March of eighteen, I had a slip and fall accident. I I slipped on a patch of ice that was about this big. That he was responsible for ice removal. <laughs> it was his job. It was his was, department. <laughs> It was my department <laughs> as the maintenance director at a nursing home. And it was salted. It was. Because there was still salt stuck in his there shoes. There was st salt stuck in my shoes. My guys got in there. Um, my guys started at 630 in the morning. Come on, you're I right didn't come there. into work until, I, I don't didn't show up until 8. Um, and they were just finishing up salting the, the, the whole facility. And we also had some construction going on in one of our buildings. So I got there. I had my co a coffee cup with me, you know, you know, all my stuff, and I'm, and uh, they they come up to me and they're like, "Hey, Tim, the um, contractors need to talk to you about, you know, yada yada yada." So I'm like, "Okay." They run me up there, and uh, uh, I take like five steps from the truck, reach my hand out, and it, Loretta, is... there's like a little arrow that you click, and then you can choose where you want to, like, if you want to sprinkle it to Facebook or where you want to sprinkle it to. So I, you know, I reach my hand out to shake this guy's hand, and the next thing I know, there's people all around me. Someone's asking me for my phone so they can call Chrissy and let her know what's going on. There's an ambulance there, so yeah, it was. Uh, uh, yeah, that was not a fun phone call to get. It was. It was very. It was. Uh, Scary as all get out. They're like, what medications is he on? What? They're asking all his like medical history, and I'm like, I can't think. I'm like, I'm trying to get Elena so, off and dropped off at school. I'm going to rerun a couple of these. But my time. guys had literally just finished salting, and when I got to the hospital, there was still salt stuck in my shoes. It just takes time for that salt to work. It's and not instant. My boss, the first thing he asked me, it's awesome. Don't let go of your... What shoes are you wearing? Don't worry, Ken. I got on my non-skid shoes. You had the proper shoes. It's just, you know, it's just, it no just, matter what you do. It happens. Yep. So. Get the top ones. Oh, and it was horrible, because it was, so, you know, and it's, they did a, they did a, a, a cat scan. They did a CAT scan on my head and couldn't find anything. I know that explains a lot. No, he, it was it was pretty bad. Like he like literally like was laying on the floor for like I don't know a couple of days. He yeah. just like would roll out of bed. He couldn't even lay on the couch. Like he was just like he was just nauseous and all the things and. Oh, it's horrible. It was like every little noise bothered him. I had to try to keep the kids quiet and be like, "Yeah, he's got a headache. You gotta be quiet." Tried to take him out of the house and, and leave to try to keep, let him be home alone some, where, so it'd be quiet. But yeah, it was, that was stressful. The scary phone Yeah, it's Shelly, I do still have issues. I, I still lose words. Yeah, that, that's, that's kind of the it. only thing. Like he still, he, yeah. And Tim's not one, like he has, he's sharp. Tim is sharp. Like he remembers things. He can, movie quotes. Song quotes, lyrics, I should say. Um, he, like, he would just, like, be so quick. And now he's like, oh, wait, 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 I know the word. I know the word. Give me a minute. And it comes to him. It just takes him a minute. It just takes a minute. So. 
Oh yeah, yep, yeah. Cheryl, I did. Oh, I they had do. to. They do the testing. Yeah, I had to go for. Uh, yeah, I had to go do that. Yeah, it's the first thing they do when you. But it's like they took. Well, me he to went the, by ambulance. Yeah, they took so. me to to the hospital because he ambulance. like it knocked him out. Like he was like out cold, like knocked out. So they called the ambulance and. Yeah, that was crazy. That was a crazy experience. All right, you guys, we have two more sets, and then we're going so, to yeah, we're hold it up and show y'all. It's very, it's very scary. Black ice. So. I know. I'm always so afraid of the black ice when I'm driving. Oh, yeah. um, I was driving with the kids one time. We were on twenty. For those of you that are localish, and like I was twenty three mile road. We were just past Tim Hortons where that little bridge goes, um, like the culvert where the old, um, where the golf course is. And there's like the little river. Uh oh. There's like the little river that goes through. Um, it's really just like a big ditch with a culvert. But you don't even know there's a bridge there. Unless oh, the you. Oh, Timmy Holes? Yeah. Unless you um, spin out in the ice like I did. Like I literally was just driving. And it's, I was only going like maybe 40, 35, 40. I was going a little bit slower because the roads were a little bit on the, you know, it was snowing, um, lightly snowing, nothing heavy, nothing crazy, just a light snow. The, the roads were wet, um, but over the bridge, it, you know, freezes faster because there's cold air under there. It's not solid ground. And I, was driving and then all of a sudden like the entire truck like literally went sideways and i yeah, was like literally on. sideways sliding down the road going towards the oncoming traffic coming get ready guys i will grab some uh bonus names here in a second and then as soon as i got past the um like where it was frozen the, it didn't look like i said it just looked wet as soon as i got past that my wheels caught and I, like it just spittled it like jerked and like I, I was able to like recorrect and, and get back and in my big lane. old F one fifty. A big old F one fifty. Yep. Um, that was scary. The kids were all freaking out in the back of the car. And, what happened? Oh, that scared the bejeebies out of me. That was the only time I've ever really like truly experienced black ice personally. We've seen it. Remember when we were we were coming home? We went to Pennsylvania, and we met my sisters there, and we stayed at a hotel for a weekend. We were coming home. We had all the kids in the car, and. Trevor was like a year old and we were coming home from Ohio and we we're going over that big bridge coming through Ohio just before Michigan. Oh we're yeah. Almost, on the turnpike. Yes. The new bridge. We're all the, uh, like, they go over and under each other. Old, but... Yeah. It was new at the time. And ahead of us, all of a sudden you just saw cars just spinning and twisting and sliding and you could hear them crunching into each other. It was crazy, crazy. Fortunately, we, it, like, all happened right in front of us, so we were able to, like, slow down and stop and maneuver around everything. Um, but it was like, it just looked wet. It did not look icy. It did not one bit look. And then the same thing happened where we went on I-75 to a wrestling tournament. There was just cars spinning out left and right all over the place. It was crazy. It just looked wet. Couldn't see a single drop of ice. So you got to be super, super careful. Oh, Miss Rhonda's getting things ready to go hunting tomorrow morning. Awesome, Rhonda. Good luck. Go get one All for right. me. Get one for me. Because I'm not going to be out there. All right. We have Susan Ristow, Karen Navarrete, Holly Ness, Claire Schaefe, Linda Finley. Ooh. All right. I got two feet of snow a week ago. Beth Lytle Cusro. Kathy Carter, Florence Hagee, Gail McGaskill, Cute. Sue Downing, Kimberly Cotto, Loretta Houston, Jan Goodyear, and Andrea Drollinger. Oh, Cheryl's done a 360 in the ice. It's scary. You guys, I'm just going to go ahead and tie these ends off. You can literally make these as long or as short as you want to. Um, we are going to gift. I will, I will send it. A few extra so you can make it a little bit longer than what oh. I made it here even. Um, but you can make these as long or as short as you want to. Oh, that stinks, Kim, uh, Kelly. I'm just tying a loop. I'm going to make sure they're all 
in there. And if you don't have a lot of corks, you can put more beads in between. So, Just add extra um, beads. Is, That'll give that? it extra length as well. Uh, Brenda says, other people scare me way more than I scare myself in snow. Yes. We well, just had this conversation, didn't we? We did. That's why I read that specific comment. We just had this conversation yesterday in the car. Cause because <laughs> I'm like, ah! when we go someplace, I typically drive. I'm typically on my phone replying to comments and messages. I multitask. And, and, and you know, uh, or posting, doing posts putting or a post something. up or something. Yeah. And she'll look up every once in a while. I always look up at the wrong moments. Wrong moments. Well, usually it's like I feel something, like I'll feel the break or I'll feel a movement and I like glance up right at the wrong moment. So yesterday, it happened twice. Once, he like went over a little bit because somebody was coming in our lane. So, and I'm like, ah! Because <laughs> I like literally look up and I see at the last second what's happening. He sees them coming. He watches. He knows what's happening. So that's why he's like going over to the side a little bit, seeing that that person's awfully close to coming into our lane. Um, so he's preparing for it and watching. But I'm like on my phone, like, you know, oh, yeah, yep, yep, isn't that so cute? Whatever my, whatever my comment or message. And I look up and I'm like, ah! And then I scare him because I'm like, ah, he's like, he's like, I've got it. Or like if there's brakes and someone stops, so then he like puts his foot on the brake and I see like all of a sudden the car is coming towards us and I go into panic. I'm, I'm, I'm not the best. Listen, I've taught all three of our boys to drive. I'm a little traumatized, okay? Yeah, I, I couldn't do it. I taught I all the it. boys. I told him he gets Elena. He gets oh, Elena. No. I did the boys. Uh -huh. He gets the girl. No. Isn't that yeah. the way it goes? Oop. Like, you have the you have the mm -mm talk. The mom has the mm -mm talk with the boys. And the dad gets to have the mm -mm talk with the girls. Isn't that the way it goes? Isn't that the way it goes? That's the way I always heard it should be. Oh, that's what the experts say. So I think it should go that way for driving, too. I taught that the boys to drive. Torn, he can teach the one girl. The ribbon would be super cute. Oh yes, yes, the little strips of um fabric Somebody tied said in between about these. Red and white. Look how cute, how cute are these? I'm gonna try and hold it close so y'all can see. Look how cute, oh, how cute. I, can't find it now. I like just a little hint of red and green on Isn't the like, ends. But you could know. paint too if you don't want a scrapbook paper. You could just paint red, green, whatever colors you want. What but is how those, cute? Uh, Tassels. Oh, you could do tassels on the, the end. Ends. You could yeah. do tassels on the end. You could. Um, How many corks did you use? I used for this length, and this is probably what, about three feet? They say, okay, it's, it's longer than three feet because this isn't a yard. <laughs> I'm doing the old. My mom always told me from your nose to the end. Is it true that you're from your nose to the end of your fingers is a yard? Let's measure. No. Oh. Yeah, it's more than three feet. I told you it was more than three feet. are about 40 inches. From from bead to bead or from hanger to hanger? Bead to bead. Bead to bead. Bead? Bead to bead, you're 39 and a quarter. Okay, but I want to know. Measure from my nose to my hand. My mom always told me that's about a yard. That's how you measured when you're at the craft store and you don't have something to measure. <laughs> 32, 31 inches. 31. Well, I'm short though. Maybe my mom is taller than me, so maybe hers is 36 inches from her nose to her fingertips. Okay, if, I, I, if I'm measuring your, I your fabric you with my saying. arm, I'm shorting you because I'm short. <laughs> All right. So it's supposed to be your height. Your height. Oh, yeah, your arm span is your height. Yeah. You should try yeah. that. Let's try it. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see, y'all. <laughs> We're going to gift it. I need supplies. Stop hitting my nose. You're going to give me a bloody nose. So fingertip. Sorry, it's hard to hold. Are you actually trying that? We're gonna see. We're, okay. gonna, we're gonna find it right here, right now. A scientific experiment. Not so scientific. Holy cow! Is it right? Very close. Wait, y'all! It worked. It worked. It worked. It worked. Uh, after when we're done. Okay. Now you gotta measure. Now you gotta you gotta go measure. You do. You gotta do it. Your mom said the same thing. Ashley's mom said the same thing. It's one of those old wives' tales. It's it's not accurate. My nose to my fingertip is not well, a yard. Someone said it might get uh, you close. I was told to turn my head before measuring. Oh, you're right. You're right. Right. Let's do that. Turn my head. Because you need the extra nose facage. Okay. Okay. I will hold it. Okay. Is that 36 inches? Well, 37 and a half. You're supposed to. So it's, it's, it's ish, a yard. ish. 
No, because a yard is not three feet. A yard is 36 inches. You're supposed to what? A yard is 36 inches. You do this thing every time. A meter is 32. Oh. A yard is 36. So maybe our moms weren't, weren't, weren't so old wives detailing. Um, I guess if you're in a pinch and you want to figure out about how much and you're at the craft store, you can just, turn, just remember, turn your head. I guess they turn do your say head. <laughs> Turn stick. your head. Yes. So. Yes, that's how I measure my yardage. Turn your head away from your hand. Look at that, y'all. Oh, Look at that. Crap, all I've ever known But is... women shrink. Yes, the older we get, the less yardage you're getting. <laughs> all, all I've ever known is turn your head to the left and cough. Ooh, Tammy, bless your dad. Bless your dad. Her dad taught all 11 of them to drive. Bless your daddy. Bless your daddy. To hell with that. Bless her mom. Her mom is blessed. We are, she mom had to be... give birth to 11 kids? Well, true, your mama had to give birth. Your daddy can teach you to drive. How come I had to teach all the boys? You only had four. Only four. <laughs> only four. I only had to birth four. I only you had, had seven to, more. Yes, I only had to go through four labors. That's all. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You need to take in consideration the size of the nose. Yes, yes, yes. Our, our long-nosed friend, you might need to, like, cut it back a little bit. Yes. <laughs> or if you've had a nose job and had it shrunken up. You might need to add a little. <laughs> oh my gosh, so funny. it works if you turn your head, y'all. You're right, you're right, it is. And your arm span is your height span. You wanna is... watch that hand? No, I don't. <laughs> you want me to see it when I smack you with it? <laughs> Sorry. Don't be the first time you All right, y'all, we are gonna gift some of these. So I'm going to give, um, let's see. Oh, somebody asked how many I used. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It's only 15. 15 and you got 40 inch um, garland. So if you do 30, you're gonna have an 80 inch garland, which would be a good length of garland. But you can also add extra beads in the center to make it go further if you don't have a lot of corks. You can also get corks at, um, you can buy like packs of them at the craft store. They, they're they like not all different like these, but, and a lot oh, of them wow. are just Holy plain, cow. but Nana? you can get them at Holy the cow. craft store. Huh? Nanette says she's one of 14. Ooh, your mama, up. bless your mama, bless your mama, God. bless your mama. All right, we're gonna gift some of these supplies. So let's um, let's um, so let's fun. draw a name. You ready, Tim? I'm ready. You ready? Yep. I'm not gonna send you these icky ones. Yep, I'll okay. save these ones. These ones are really stained up. This one, this one, I think was someone re 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 bottled, re re corked the bottle. All right. Oh no, probably red wine. And I'll send you more than 40. I'll send you some extras. That way you can make it a little bit longer. That's from red wine. I know they're all from, a lot of these are from red wine, but that's because it's, it's like that on the sides because it, they, put the they cork stuck back it back in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Oh, Amazon. Yes, Miss Janet. You can get, you can get corks on Amazon. Yes. Yes. And you can. Or talk to your, get one a, of your local. Um, yes. Check your local, your local pub, pubs. your local um, beverage establishments. Um, they might be able to save you some or give, they might have a bucket of them already sitting there that they just will give you. Um, check your restaurants. I know I went and met some of our friends at Marcel Olive Garden. Says, just don't feed her if she hits you. Olive Garden um, does a lot of these bottles and they gave um, one of our friends here a bunch of, I think it was, um, um, oh, good Lord. Charmaine, Miss Charmaine, I think it was, um, got a bunch of these from Olive Garden. So check your and local places. Brandy says uh, a friend of hers that works at Olive Garden is saving them for her too. Yep, see? So yeah. unless they have a friend named Brandy that they're saving them for already, you might be able to get some, get them to save you some, okay? Um, or start drinking, Kathy or, says. Or, Kathy says, or just get busy. The holidays are here. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> yes, the season yes, of Andrea. cheer is here. Um, I do scroll through. I like through. that. We need to make a sign. The season of cheer is here. I, I do scroll I need through a wine both glass that says that. Facebook and yes. uh, YouTube when, yep. when, I'm, when we're gifting. Yep, you're all in the run and you're all in the run. Are we ready? Ready to start scrolling? Yep. Here we go. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Uh, keep those names rolling. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. scrolling. A winner. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Keep those names a rolling. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. In the name of love, before you break my heart, 
You can get corks from your wine enthusiast relative, right? We all have a wine enthusiast relative. We all do. I love the name of that. I love, 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 love that. Wine enthusiast. Your enthusiast. Your wine enthusiast. Yes. All right. All right. Sticky note, please. May I have the And the opinion? winner is... Miss Donna Osborne, Miss Donna Osborne, Miss Donna Osborne. You can send us a private message to the page or you can send, um, because it's acting wonky, if you don't hear back from us pretty quickly, um, send an email to Christie's team at christiescraftroom.com. Miss Donna, Miss Donna Osborne. Christie's team at christiescraftroom.com. And then we will get you, just send, we need your address so we can um, send out a little package with, and we're going to send you some beads and some twine, or some of the red twine and stuff too. I can't send you the, the hole puncher, but you can either get your own hole puncher, or you can just paint the ends, or cut the circles, or however you want to get your circles. Um, but we'll send you all the other supplies that I used, okay? So look at y'all saying, congratulations to Miss Donna, y'all are so sweet. You were an aunt at three years old. Woo, Tammy, I bet you were with all the siblings. Yes. All right, guys, we're going to hop off here. We love you. Thanks for hanging out for another fun night of crafting. And we will see you guys super soon, okay? Take care. Have a great night.